you need to to have legal parentage in order to be able to enjoy many of your rights, starting by the legal identity. So if it is not clear who your parents are, it's going to be more difficult to establish your legal identity. Or in the case of private international ca law cases, when you have more than two states that are involved, it may be that in one state you have a legal identity and in another state you have another legal identity. And this, of course, can create uh, big problems for, for the persons when moving from one state to another. Uh, in addition, legal parentage is not only the door to legal identity, but is also in many cases the door to get a nationality, for children to get maintenance, then to get inheritance. So it's really important uh, in, that it is established and that it is also recognized from state to state. If uh, you don't have it, everything that comes afterwards is going to be much more complex for people. Therefore, uh, there is this need to ensure that the legal parentage is established and then recognized in all states. In order to explain the, the importance of private international law issues and, and legal parentage, um, I'm going to put an example. So, for example, if you have a French mother and you have a Japanese father, and uh, they had a child that was born in Brazil, but then they moved to South Africa. In those cases that are becoming quite common, uh, nowadays we have to see what is the situation if things and problems arise in this family. Which is the first question that arises, which country is going to decide on the matter, on the problem? Is it going to be the French, because there is some French nationality in the family. Is it going to be South Africa, because it's there where they are living? Uh, maybe Japan has a say, because the father is Japanese, but the child was born in Brazil. So you have many different states in there. So we need to decide which is the state who is going to decide on the matter. Once we know which is the state who is going to decide on the matter, we will have to decide which law they will apply. So, for example, if it's the state of the habitual residence, South Africa, maybe South Africa will have to take into consideration some laws mm, from France or from Japan or others. So, we will have to need to see which are the laws that need to be applied to the case. Then, uh, we will have to see if there is a decision from, in this case, the South African uh, authorities. Then, we will like to ensure that this decision is going to be recognized in the other states because you don't want just to go travel and have to start all over again. This is time consuming, it gets a lot of energy, uh, money, expenses, so you want to have certainty and security to ensure that uh, your legal parentage is the same in other countries. And of course, very important for all of this is cooperation. So that, how do you cooperate between different states? So um, these are like the, the basis and this is what the ACCH is working for. So trying to uh, negotiate international treaties that will help people in order to cross borders and have some this security and uncertainty. Um, when we are deciding all this, it is not just only about recogn the recognition of, of legal parentage, which is very important, but specifically we think, for example, in the cases of surrogacy, is that you recognize, but also taking into account all the human rights of all the people involved, specifically the children. So that recognition is not done at all cost, but with some minimum safeguards that will allow this person to benefit on the one hand, on the legal security of your clear legal parentage and legal identity, but as well as uh, knowing that the rest, the things that are around this also are taking into account uh, human rights uh, things, because we have to take into consideration the, when the person and when that decision takes place, but we also have to take into consideration what will be the situation, how this person will feel in 20, 30 years time in the rest of his life or her life. So that's why it's so important to embrace those principles.